So I just got to sit down and watch the brand new film Spaceman on Netflix, directed by Johan Rank, and it stars Adam Sandler, of course, and Carey Mulligan is in this movie, so pretty good cast. The movie follows an astronaut who is on this isolated mission in the space. He is completely alone and by himself, but everybody's kind of following him. He's sort of a celebrity because of this. Imagine something kind of like the Truman Show, where he's kind of doing like, like advertisements and plugging different companies while in space while people are watching him, but he's essentially all by himself. He left his wife back on Earth, and he's very lonely and very miserable. And in his loneliness, he comes into contact with this gigantic alien spider thing. Is it real? Is it a part of his imagination? Uh, who knows? But he comes into contact with this talking spider monstrosity and becomes friends with it and starts sorting out his life and kind of his connection and his relationship with his wife and everything that's going on with that. Uh, while discussing, you know, the universe with this spider. Now, this is a fascinating movie, one that is being, uh, uh, that is really dividing the internet. I think it has like a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I see a lot of people either really love this movie or absolutely despise it. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. This is definitely not a movie that is going to be super memorable for me, but there are a lot of aspects of this film that I really, really enjoyed, and some things that I really took away from it uh, that I could sort of relate to on a thematical sense. This movie as a whole tackles a lot of different thematical ideas, a lot of th different thematical feelings and emotions, specifically when it comes to loneliness and kind of isolation that's self-inflicted, leaving things that you love, leaving people that you love, and surrounding yourself in kind of a cloak of loneliness and sadness, and then being upset about it. Now that's something that I think everybody can sort of connect to, because I think everybody's done it at least once or twice in life. We're weird creatures that make weird decisions that sort of isolate us, and that's kind of what the spider in this movie is constantly telling him, like, you guys are fascinating creatures that just do the weirdest things that cause very, very weird harm to yourselves. And I think that's sort of what this film is trying to say and where Adam Sandler kind of is in this movie as a character, both metaphorically and physically, being alone in space on this mission where he's completely by himself and alone. But also Carrie Mulligan, his wife, who is back on Earth, surrounded by people, but is in a similar situ situation. She's kind of been isolated herself and feels betrayed by what Adam Sandler's done, therefore she's trying to kind of get a divorce or get separated while he's in space. Now I will say a lot of these ideas are done really well and I felt the emotion from this film for two different reasons. A, because Adam Sandler does a great job. He's one of the best leading men in Hollywood right now. He's getting away from doing all those goofy comedies and just being known as the funny guy. And he's getting his, you know, his feet wet in all of these really actual cinematic storytelling type movies. Movies that take themselves seriously and try to tell real stories and aren't just trying to be goofy little laugh-a-thons. He's a great actor and he does a really, really great job here. Another thing, the guy who voiced the spider. Just Paul Dano, of course. Paul Dano is just a great, great actor. Everything he does is amazing. His voice is really iconic here, and it gives so much life and so much character to the spider. Where somebody like me, who hates spiders, this big, gigantic monstrosity, felt very loving and innocent and not harmful in any way possible. I wanted to hang out with the spider in this movie. Which is strange, I guess. And then you have the score in this movie, which was done by Max Richter, so you know you're getting a banger, and yeah, this is one of the better scores of the year so far. I was gonna say the best, but Dune came out, like, two days ago, so it's not better than Dune, but it's a very, very good score that's going to be memorable come the end of the year. It's incredible. It adds a lot of life to the film. Now, I got some issues with the film. Uh, first off, I don't think the film is very memorable in a visual sense. There's a lot of great shots, a lot of beautiful stuff with space, but it doesn't really stick out, and a lot of big sci-fi movies that take place in space, that isolate their, their characters, you know, stuff like Interstellar, which I know it's not fair to compare this movie to Interstellar, but stuff like Ad Astra, these big sci-fi films that thematically kind of cover a similar basis of stories and a similar structure, uh, those films are known for having a visual punch to them. They are just meaty when it comes to the visuals and what you're seeing on screen. And this film, I'm not really sure, had that same extent uh, to it. I don't really remember a lot of the shots in this movie. I think a lot of the color grading was really drying and uh, dried and kind of devoid of color, which I think was done on purpose, but like, I don't know, a lot of it just, it was missing something. And like I said, I, I, I just mentioned Ad Astra, and I kind of compared this movie a lot to that, because I think Ad Astra, on a thematical sense and a story sense, is kind of a bigger, better version of what this film was trying to accomplish. And because I had seen that movie, and I love that movie, it sort of took away from the experience of watching this one for some reason. I also don't particularly love the ending for this one, but yet again, I might have just not understood the ending, which is fine, you know, I think... 
you know, maybe it just went over my head and I'm open to admitting that, but at the same time, uh, what the ending did present I thought was a little too standard and kind of unsatisfying and kind of where you would expect it to go. And I sort of wish the ending of this film took the film somewhere different and unique and really took a big swing. And maybe it did, and maybe I just didn't get it, but I don't know. From what it, what it actually appeared to be, uh, I felt like I wanted a little bit more from the ending of this film. But overall, I actually really did enjoy my viewing of this film. I think the relationship between Paul Dano, Spider, and Adam Sandler is really beautiful. I think the mystery of wondering if this guy's just losing his fucking mind in space, or if he's actually befriended a real alien spider that's been traveling the galaxy, right? Like, I think that's a, a really interesting conversation that maybe could lend itself to multiple viewings of the film. Am I gonna watch it a second time? Probably not. But you know what, for other people that really get invested in this kind of stuff, maybe you could watch it again, really dig into the Easter eggs, the hints in the dialogue, and try to see if, you know, that's an actual mystery that could be solved, or if it's just not, if it's meant not to be solved. But I think the relationship between the two characters is really great. It lends itself to some really well-written dialogue, some really metaphorical dialogue, some real-life hitting advice coming from this movie, some gut punch when it comes to life advice. They tell you the truth in this damn movie. Sometimes the truth hurts. I think there is a good time to be had in this movie. If you're somebody who really likes just the Adam Sandler goofy movies, this is not going to be for you. It's really a dark, emotional, you know, cinematic uh, type experience here. They were really going for like an A24 type vibe for all the people that don't know what I'm talking about when I say a real movie. I mean, like, you know, the fucking cinema, you know, Martin Scorsese, cinema. Not those action theme park movies. It's definitely, this is trying to be one of like an actual movie here, and uh, for the most part, I think it succeeds, but for me personally, I think I was looking for a little bit more here, just to really sink my teeth into, but overall, it was fine. So I will give Spaceman a 3 out of 5. I think it is a good experience, and I recommend watching it. That's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more. Please make sure to hit the video on your screen right now, and I will see you in the next one.